Okay, I'm back at it, about to repaint this uh, toolbox because I, I just don't want to give up on it. I just feel like there's hope. So, I am painting a totally different color too. I didn't really like that fluorescent yellow lime green color, so I went and got this um, gloss mambo pink, a mambo pink, and it's just some regular spray paint. And so... I'm going to see how it works. I got. I ended up getting two cans because last time when I only got that one can, it looked splotchy and it didn't look, I don't know, it just don't look good. It's just simple. It just don't look good. And then uh, I read the can that I had got last time and I got it for special projects. And so I think it was like a different formula of spray paint. But this is just like the regular kind. So... It says wood, metal, plastic, and more. So I am going to try this. Y'all cross your fingers for me, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, bye. Okay, so this is the semi-finished product because it's not through drying. I literally just finished spray paint, but it turned out way better than that lime green did. But the only thing is, well, it's two things. This permanent marker, I think that's just a forever mistake. So every time I look at it, I can just think of my lovely son. And then, on the sides, it is running and dripping. I don't know if y'all can see that. But um, that's because I sprayed too much too close. And before I got started, I knew not to do that. But I did it anyway. So I made a... That messed the kind of kind of a bit. Then on this side, it did the same thing, so it messed it up just a little bit. But um, I'm trying not to be so OCD about that because the overall project came out okay. Well, it came out better than what it looked before. So, hey, <laughs> so it is Saturday morning, or it's like 12. It's like Saturday noon. Would y'all believe I didn't even get this out of my car? Uh, when did I go? Thursday? I didn't even get this out of my car Thursday or Friday to put together in my classroom. But this is what it is. It's the classroom keeper's mailbox and it's 30 slots. I have 23 kids but we can get up to 27. So I got the 30 mailbox, 30 slots just in case I get some more kids. And um, I, <laughs> this is just so crazy. I went to my car to get something out and I was like I didn't even get the mailbox out. Oh, and then this right here. This is, y'all, I have so many like big plans and then I don't even fall through. But this right here is my planner that I ordered from Michaels and I was gonna, uh, it's the happy planner and I was gonna legit start planning, you know, because it, planning does make your life easier, which I no, because I used to plan, but it takes so much time to actually plan. I can't even get this out the bag. And then my friend Anitra, we're in this group called, uh, it's on Facebook, Black Women Who Plan and Create. Okay. We're in this group, Black Women Who Plan and Create. Isn't it so beautiful? Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Whoa, it's pretty. And she had been telling me I needed to get my planner out and, you know, start planning and stuff. But I just hadn't. This is my first time even opening it up. So, Anitra, if you're watching this, I hope I just opened my planner. <laughs> she had been asking me about it, too. Like, when you going to open your planner? When you going to start planning? I am opening it now. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I like these colors. I really like this planner. So, now that it's finally open, I'm going to take it inside and start, um, start planning some stuff. And I'm gonna take this, I promise. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday, it was Monday. Uh, cause my camera was dead for one. And then for two, we were at uh, Tools for Life training that morning. And it was so awesome. Like, I don't know if y'all ever heard of Tools for Life or if y'all use Tools for Life, but I found it very, very informative. Um, I wanted to show y'all Voila, over there is all of, let me zoom in, all of our wonder stuff, it came in. So, 
I need to organize that today. And then my teacher toolbox is up and I need to put on the labels. This is my class from last year. I just put that up there. I need to put on the labels and right now I am doing sacks and stuff. I got these like soap dishes or soap holders and so I'm just putting, I had them in plastic bags. I'm gonna take them out the plastic bags and these are the ones I've already done because when we get back, we're gonna use our letter towels. So that's what I'm currently doing. Um, I think this idea is gonna work because it's enough room to like hold quite a few more letter tiles. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna hold all the letter tiles. And so just clip them in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna label them probably with numbers. I don't think I'm gonna label them with names. I think I'm gonna do numbers. So that way hopefully they'll stay in good condition. And I could just use them year after year for this. So we're going to try this and see how it works. So that's all I'm doing. Um, it's been an okay morning. It's been a bad morning. It's been gloomy. Um, oh so yeah. I'm finally getting back in the swing. Because yesterday, I don't know, like, when you off on a Monday. And it's like, ugh, hard to get back in the swing of things. That's how I am right now. And so this morning, we was doing our sex and lesson. And... I just really had to just, I don't know, take a deep breath. Because it was like, I wasn't here yesterday. We do sex and we do a reading block from 8 to 9 every morning. So it includes sex and it includes our story of the week. But I have really, a one hour is not enough. And so I have been trying to uh, do more when they come in from specials. So they're at special right now. And then... When they get back, we'll probably read our story and do our letter tasks. Then by that time, it's lunchtime because we go at, to lunch at 1040. And so then we'll get back and we might do like a noodle or something because we're not going outside today. And then we are going to do math, social studies, and science. What else? What's on my phone? Social studies and science. And then it's our story time slash quiet time slash nap, nap time like snack time sorry snack time so we're gonna do that and then they have a rest time but we usually don't even have time to rest it's only like 15 minutes then we do reflection of the day and then they pack up and go home so i mean our, our schedules are pretty laid out and so it's like you just have to follow the schedule so that is what i'm currently doing is my lip towels I'm going to organize all this stuff. Y'all ignore my table. Y'all, and look at my desk. Like, what in the world is wrong with me? I was telling somebody that my desk is just like a paper holder. Because that's what I do. I never sit at it. It just holds my paper and my apple cider vinegar. And then this was me when I student taught. Yes. I love student teaching. I've been picking off my, uh, a kid made me this for, well, a kid, mama got this made for me last year for, uh, teacher appreciation. And I've been picking off of it ever since last year. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. I need to get this done before they come back. Bye. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I hadn't, like, vlogged in forever. And really, I just needed time to be a mom. Because if you don't actually, like, video and vlog or whatever if you just watch youtube like i used to and now i actually video it does take a lot of time like you don't just turn on the camera and be like oh i can film this real quick some stuff you can but a lot of stuff you kind of have to plan out you kind of have to make time for and you kind of have to just be organized and so with that being said uh we just had a lot of stuff to come up my son got sick i had to take him to the doctor he's totally okay but, uh, you know, just by going to school and me working at a school and by him, you know, going to daycare every day, you just pick up germs and viruses and bugs. And it just, that comes with it. And so, um, I had to take some time and just really, you know, get him back to health. And he's super healthy. He's super fine. I mean, you know, it is what it is. And so now... I'm actually on my way to Walmart 
in contrary to popular belief because <laughs> I know I'm always well I feel like every time I turn the video on I'm going like to Walmart or somewhere but um I am going to Walmart Walmart is not my favorite store but I need to go to Walmart because y'all let me tell y'all this what I'm driving and um I try not to vlog and drive too often because I don't I still don't have a camera mount and so I don't like to just make sure I'm holding it or if it tilts over or whatever so I'm gonna say this really quickly and I always have like a story to tell like my life is a story to tell so here I am in Walmart hard up shopping like EEF card ready we about to go let's get it you know we need this put it in the bag I need this put it in the bag I'm just really getting all this stuff I mean it was a lot of stuff that I needed I legit needed for my classroom I needed um composition books because we're starting interactive notebooks I needed uh double-sided tape I needed what else did I need Oh, my, my basket was full. I think I had like some uh, some uh, laminated sheets in there. I mean, I just had stuff that I needed. Long story short, get to the register. And they will not let you use your EF card only between, well, from what the cashier explained it to me, between certain hours because they have to log it down because it's tax free. The office has to log it down in the book and the office closes at 5. And this was like, 6 30 or 7 o'clock when I was there and I'm like what and they're like yeah I'm sorry and so I was telling my co-teacher about it they told her the same thing and she was just like you know what forget that I'm gonna just use it y'all can add the taxes I don't care so she added she used it with her taxes but me no I'm proving a point no this card should be tax free this stuff should be tax free y'all need to tax free it and so anyway long story short i didn't get my stuff that day so i am headed back to walmart now and y'all i'm not giving up the good fight but i ain't got time to play with these people so it's like six what time is it? it's like right at 605 and so the office is already closed so i know they're gonna be talking the same talk that they talked last week but you know what, I'ma just, I, I ain't gonna, I, so, I ain't gonna worry about it. I'ma just pay the taxes. Shoot. Sure. I'ma just pay the taxes. But, I mean, it, it is what it is. So, shout out to CC Dubison. If you're watching Ms. Dubison, I'm just going on and paying the taxes. Because she was the one, that's my co-teacher that I talk about, Miss Dubison. I was telling her, that I was like, I'm not paying taxes for this stuff. It's supposed to be tax free. But now I'm just like, I need it. And I don't have time to meet them in between certain hours. And it's just crazy the way they doing it this year. Like last year, it was not like that. I feel like it's way more strict this year. And I don't know how they cracking down because, you know, they had some some illegal activity going on. Which I don't know what it is. Are they just being more careful? I just don't know. Or they, it's just a new policy. I don't, I don't know. But last year, we literally could go in Walmart, swipe it like a car, and they did the tax free number and it was just you good to go but this year it's a little bit different so I mean you know it is what it is anyway on that note I'm signing off I'll talk to you I might vlog a little while I'm in Walmart but if not I will definitely show you all what I got so see you later bye okay y'all I am currently in the trunk of my car and it is a complete mess. All right, these Sterilite boxes or uh, what do we call them? These drawers. I got these from Walmart because I needed to put my pencils and my broken pencils and my sharpened pencils in one. And then I'm going to break the colors down because the crayon box I have at uh, school for a whole, for the whole classroom is just torn up. And then this is the stuff I actually got at Walmart. And I was going to try to show it to y'all now. But this is turning out to be not so convenient. I thought it would be more convenient to show it to you in the trunk. But I got a lot of, uh, I might just sit down and do all this. Because I want to actually show y'all each bag and what I got. And what I'm going to use the bins for. Or the drawers for. So anyway. But this is the stuff I got from Walmart. Now, I have to get it out of the car, 
Monday. Today is Saturday. I need to get out the car Monday and um prepare to get I'm still like trying to get everything organized. But I got my scotch lemonade passes because I just need these for just everything. I mean, this, this is life. Teachers, crafters, whoever you are, if you have this, you know that this is life. The scotch laminated is life. I use it for everything. I ran out of pouches. And so I just went ahead and got uh, 150 I think it was like $30, but I was like, whatever. I need it. So I went ahead and got all of these. I got a lot of um, Halloween and pumpkin books. I got just like some basic stuff I needed, like tape and double-sided tape for sure. I got this glittery, not glittery tape, this like uh, iridescent tape because I'm going to try to use it to uh, tape off my board. I'm going to tape my board in different sections. Anyway, I'll show you more when I get to school. All right, guys. Bye. Hello, party people. I feel like I have not picked up this camera in so long, which is true. I have not. So, today I'm not in the school. I am at a uh, letters training. Now, I don't know if y'all heard of letters, but it's a program. Let me see if I can find one of my books. It's a, um, it's not a reading program, but it's kind of like a uh, program to help the teachers teach the students and it's the science behind learning to read and so uh this is one of the books i don't know if y'all have ever seen this but it's really really good like this is module nine we uh doing module one through three today then we're doing module seven tomorrow because in the state of mississippi we don't have to have module i think three through six i think i think that's what it is but um it is super interesting like it's just amazing it goes into how the brain actually works and how the brain functions and what could be possibly there's different causes to um reading failure and what could be causing it and how different techniques you can use basically um to help with that well I want to say different techniques you can use to help with it I want to say it just gives you the background knowledge of what is going on in the child's mind to help you better understand them and so it's it's super good um, I'm here alone today my team did not sign up in time uh, for this this training so one of my teammates are coming next month and then the other one is coming in uh, December but I mean it's, it's, it's like it's almost like a class like it's school I'm not gonna lie like we had to do these modules online and we had to uh, take like these quizzes and stuff and we have actual like workbooks so it's, it's pretty intense incoming call press the phone button to answer somebody call I just ignore I got it hooked up to my car so it can ring in but um it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Um, not this much been going on. Just working. Y'all, I have... Y'all, I have been working. Like, I'm not gonna kid you. Like, this teacher stuff, like, it ain't for play play. Like, this is for real. Like, it's so intense, which I love what I do. I'm not gonna say I don't like the work, but it's just a lot of work. And so, I'm super focused on, um making sure these children get the best quality education from me and so i have been doing so much to help them uh, i mean as far as like doing centers and small groups y'all I, I i don't know what secret weapon y'all have with y'all centers but centers take a lot of work and i'm just gonna sit here and be real with you it takes a lot of planning and a lot of implement and practice and and teaching and coaching to get these centers to a point where my children are independent because we we have themes so we have monthly themes last month was apples and back to school this month is pumpkins and like uh fire safety week and of course halloween we'll throw we don't really emphasize halloween a lot but we do do a few halloween themed stuff anyway y'all 
getting this stuff from week to week and we do our lesson plans in two week blocks so the, the goal is that you should pre-plan for the next two weeks got it cool totally understand but how how when I have a long list, a never ending list of things to do. So that is my ultimate goal is to see it. Like I pre-planned the best I can as far as my lesson planning. I, I know what we're going to do and I have it written on the lesson plan, but as far as pulling the materials, making the copies, laminating, all of that, I'm still at a point where I'm doing it the week of. And I'm just going to be honest, I am. I'm at the point where we start centers. We, we usually, we're supposed to do centers Monday through Friday, which we do. But we don't start our intense content centers until probably like Wednesday. Because Monday and Tuesday, we're still focusing on certain skills. And so we start our content centers actually on Wednesday. And I'm serious, Monday morning... I'm still in the classroom, like, laminating stuff out my little laminator, cutting it up and on my plan, and I'm probably doing little stuff like that. And, I mean, I just, I really want to get to the point where, this is my second year teaching kindergarten. First year, I don't know if y'all know this little backstory. I, anyway, wait a minute. Let me get to my point. I want to get to the point where I know what I'm doing, and I just pull it. Like, you see those teachers with bins of monthly stuff, and every year we go to that August bin, that's what we do. You know, they might add a few stuff, update stuff, but they know that that, set of, that bin is that set of things that they're going to do that month or that week or whatever. I want to get to that point. What I was about to say is, this is my second year teaching kindergarten. My first year, last year, I was... Uh, I'm not gonna say thrown into kindergarten, but I wasn't looking for a job. I was a stay-at-home mom. I enjoyed that. Uh, my husband got deployed. I felt like it was time for me to go back to work. I wanted to send my son to school so he can get social interaction and, and just, you know, just get out the house and do some different things. We moved back to Mississippi from California. So it, it was a big transition. So I had a lot of other stuff going on besides just focus on teaching. But this year, like um, I start and then I started like midways after school had started I think I started probably in uh, late September or early October I started around this time last year so I missed a bulk of uh, a bulk of the beginning of the year and so this year, I'm just glad that I'm starting at the beginning of the year where I can actually pull resources and I know what to expect. And things have changed this year. It's not the same as it was last year. So I'm just still, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning and growing. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being the best that I can be for my students. I'm okay with that. So with that being said, it is lunchtime. So I'm currently eating lunch. I'm eating red beans. Enough spicy red beans and quinoa. And then I got some fruit and stuff. And um, I'm going to just chill. It's like I probably won't go nowhere. I probably go get some gas. Just because I don't feel like going anywhere. I'm so tired. Like, I'm really sleepy. I can see it with, like, where my car is parked. There's sunlight. And you know when you get that warm, sunny, cozy feeling. And you can just kind of, like take a nap it's like that but i'm not gonna take a nap because i'm like in the middle of the parking lot but it just it feels really good so i'm gonna just chill out and then this hour is probably gonna fly by we got out at um 11 30 so we have to be back at 12 30 and so i'm gonna just chill right now and the training is from eight to four so i will be here till four and i'm gonna try to take the camera in to kind of get like a glimpse because the um the uh, instructor, y'all, he is so amazing. Like, have y'all ever just met someone who was super smart, but they were super, like, cool and down to earth and kind of funny, like, tried to tell jokes and stuff? That's how he is. He's a little corny. I mean, <laughs> some of the jokes are lame. I'm not going to lie. Some of them are. Lame. But good effort because... It's like you you not afraid to do you boo you 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 showing who you are by telling these lame jokes and I'm cool with that and so he makes the training fun because the morning session passes by really fast that's what me and the lady next to me was talking about it was like oh it's already lunchtime not that we're complaining but it's just the fact that 
you know he's just a good instructor when you and i want to be that teacher for my students that the day just fly by and they had a great day they learned a lot it was awesome they enjoyed me i enjoyed them and i you know when you see educators like that because he is a former educator now he does trainings and he still tutors on the side in reading when you see educators like that it gives you hope like you you can do that you can be that you know if not you you are that and you don't even know you're that yet so <laughs> that was a lot <laughs> so i'm just saying i said i let to say this it's good to surround yourself with a community of educators who feel the same way you feel now you have those people who are totally like i hate coming to work i don't think teaching for me and it's not for everybody teaching is not for the uh faint at heart when you teaching you got to be working you got to be in it to win you got to love it and so that's what i'm, I'm glad I, i'm here and we have another training tomorrow and so i'll try to check in with you guys later bye